This is a video by Richpin. I got this comment a couple of days ago and it is from SWAV100. And he says, Rich, could you do a video on how to read and follow the wiring diagram from start to finish? All right, I'll try. I'll do the best I can. Now, the first thing to understanding the wire diagrams is to know what the symbols mean. So it's best if you get a page with all the symbols on it so you know what is going on. And uh, one of the most common ones you'll see on a wiring diagram is your positive symbol, negative. Here is the ground symbol, a fuse uh, your ohm symbol, resistor, these are ones you'll see quite regularly. Um, coil, switch symbols. Up here we have the uh, motor symbol right here. Those are the most common ones you'll see. Now, let's take a look at a normal wiring diagram. Here is a wiring diagram on a cooling fan system. Okay, now what we got down here is a picture of the computer. They're showing powertrain control module. Here we have a symbol of the cooling fan motor right here. Here is a symbol for ground. Over here, we have a symbol for a thermistor, a resistor. This is the engine coolant temp sensor right here. Up here, we have the diagram for a relay. Right here, we have a diagram for a fuse. Now, the way this system functions is that right here voltage comes into the relay you can see right here it says hot at all times voltage comes through the fuse into the relay and inside the relay right here you can see a symbol for a coil and then over here we have a symbol for a switch inside the relay Okay, so now we see that voltage is coming into the relay and they tee the voltage off to another pin of the relay. So what they're doing is that this one over here is a voltage source that run the coil and then over here is the voltage source that will be used to send from the relay to the object that wants to be driven. So we got voltage here, voltage here, right here is the output wire to the object, in this case the coolant fan motor, and the other side of the motor is grounded. So the only thing left for this system to work is to ground the coil. Once the coil is grounded, that switch will pull this way, boom, voltage to go right to the object we're going to drive. And the way that works is that the computer sends voltage out to the engine coolant temp sensor and that sensor alters the voltage that goes out of the sensor. And when it reaches a certain amount of voltage the computer sees it and says, okay, it's time to send a ground pulse out through this wire right here, grounds out the coil, coil pulls the switch, closed, voltage goes out to the fan motor. And that's how the uh, schematics work on the uh, coolant fan. Okay, let's take a look at another wiring schematic. 
This one right here is for a AC. And it's very similar to the other one where we have a relay up here. Now they're showing a ignition switch right here. Right here is a um, schematic for a junction block. It's showing fuses. You can see the fuses diagram. Down here we have the um, what they call the HVAC control head which has the little AC button and the switches for the blower motor. And if we tilt down here you'll see we have a diagram for a pressure switch right here. And this is the diagram for the computer right down here. Now let's see if we can follow how this system works. Up here, voltage hot at all times goes through the AC fuse into the relay and of course it just stays right there, doesn't do anything. Right here we have a contact that comes out of the relay, comes down to the AC compressor right there. Now what else do we have in the AC relay? We have the voltage coming from the ignition switch and she is only hot in the run position once the ignition switch sends voltage down to the HVAC fuse and ignition 3 fuse and from the goes through the ignition 3 fuse out to the AC relay. So that power source right there is going to energize the coil right there. Now we've got voltage coming down through the HVAC fuse, 15 amp fuse right here you can see in the junction block and it comes down to the control head and you can see that once the voltage is switched to the blower motor, now what they're not showing you here is they're not showing you the output to the blower motor but once the switch is turned to one of the settings here low medium high uh, whatever the setting is then the voltage will go out the dark green wire and then energize the AC switch right here and so then it's showing a 510 ohm resistor on the output of the switch. So once you press that little AC button on the um, on the control head then the voltage will come out here down this wire and then it goes into the pressure switch and if the pressure switch is closed because the um, the pressure in the system is where it should be then it will flow out and a lot of times you have a leak in your system and that switch is open and voltage will stop right there all right let's say if the switch is closed then the voltage will come out of the switch and then it will go into the computer and the computer says, oh, you want the AC on? Great. I will send a signal to your relay. So it sends a ground signal up this wire. Energize the coil right here of the relay. Pulls it closed. Voltage flows down the wire. 
to the AC compressor clutch, bang, engages it. You can see right here it has a symbol of a, a ground right here showing that the um, compressor is grounded at the motor. Now, here's another thing right up here that you'll run across. AC diode. And you can see, now the diode has a triangle with a wire, with a, a line. And of course that's showing which way the um, things will flow through the diode. You gotta remember that a diode is a one-way switch, so things will flow only in one direction through the diode. And you can see in, in on the AC circuit that it's flowing towards the relay. Now, what happens on the AC circuit is when the voltage goes to the compressor, 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 easy for me to say, the, um, there's a magnetic field that happens inside the uh, compressor. Now, when you turn the AC off, is that the magnetic field down here in the compressor will come up this feed wire right here. And the thing is, though, it's reverse polarity. So it will come up, it will see the diode, and boom, shunt the ground right here. And that will protect your switches and your relay. Very important to have the AC diode in that circuit. Hopefully I've given you a little insight on how to read wiring diagrams today. Thanks for watching guys.